So if you want to know how to create this cool promotional banner design for social media in Adobe Illustrator, then stick around. And don't forget to subscribe for more similar designs. So let's jump right into it. First go to file and create a new artboard with these dimensions. This is the default size of a Facebook cover. But you can choose any other dimensions that you like. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Make sure that its fill color is set to black. Create a copy of this rectangle. And paste it in front. Open the gradient panel. And apply a linear gradient to this copy of the rectangle. Select the gradient tool, and apply the gradient vertically like this. Change both sides of this gradient to a bright orange color. Click on this left slider of the gradient, and decrease its opacity to zero. Now click on this right slider, and decrease its opacity to 50%. Now we have a nice dark reddish background. You can note down the RGB code for this orange color. Now we will add some small fire particles for our background. Download all these images from the video description. Then drag this particle image in Illustrator. Align it to the center. And scale it down according to the size of the artboard. Now our background is getting in shape. Select the ellipse tool, and create a circle while holding down the shift key. Align it to the center of the artboard. Open the gradient panel, and apply a radial gradient to this circle. Change both sides of the gradient to a dark red color. Now click on this right slider. And change its opacity to zero. Note down the RGB code for this red color. Slightly scale it up to increase the red shade in the background. Now add the main image here. First drag this smartphone mockup in Illustrator. Scale it down according to the artboard. And align it to the center. Now drag this food image in Illustrator. Scale it down similarly. And align it to the center as well. Adjust it slightly for the smartphone mockup. Select this food image, and the mockup. Go to Effect, and apply a shadow to them. Note down these values for the shadow, and hit OK. Now our background is complete. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu, and lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing our background. Add some headline text here for the banner. Select the type tool, and write a headline. Change its color to white. 
and increase its font size. Note down the font that I've used for the headline. Hold down the Alt key, and click and drag to create a copy. Replace this copy with some other text. Apply a red color to this text. Note down the RGB code for this red color. Slightly adjust the position of this headline. Now create a copy of this full headline. And replace it with some other text. Adjust the font size of this text accordingly. Now slightly adjust this full text for the right side. Select this full headline text. And apply the same shadow to it. Apply the same values and hit OK. Now this headline is looking more appropriate. Now add some text on this mock-up. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle here. Apply a grey color to this rectangle. Note down the RGB code for this grey color. Align this rectangle to the center. Open the effect menu. And round its corners. Select a small value. And hit OK. Now add some text for this rectangle. Decrease the font size of this text. Apply the same red color to this text. Create a copy of this text and replace it. Make slight adjustments if needed. Create a copy of this full text. Place it here at the bottom side. And replace it with some other text. Adjust its font size according to the rectangle. Create a copy of this full text. And place it here. Write some contact info here. Use some decent font for this contact info. Adjust this rectangle according to the text. Note down the font that I've used here. Create a copy of this text. Apply a yellow color to this copy. And write a contact number here.
Note down the RGB code for this yellow color. Slightly adjust its font size. Place this contact info on a position like this. Now create a copy for the right side. And replace the text according to your requirement. Adjust the font size of this text. Now write some helpful link here. And slightly decrease its font size. Now we will add some other effects to this cover design. Drag this red smoke image in Illustrator. Align it to the center of the artboard. And scale it down properly. Place it slightly on the bottom side. Now finally drag these flame particles in Illustrator. Align it to the center as well. Now slightly scale it down according to the food image. And place it on a position like this. Now our cover design is complete. Open the object menu. And select unlock all. This will unlock all the layers that we've locked at the start of this tutorial. Select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu. And make a clipping mask. And here is the final output of your cover design. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.